Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. You see, at one point in the ministry of Jesus, we see him demonstrating this authority. He sends out the 72 disciples, 72 disciples giving them power to heal the sick and power over unclean spirits. The Bible says the 72 came back with such great joy. Lord, they said, even the demons submit to us in your name. 72 people who were filled with the power of God under the instruction of the Master Jesus Christ. And as they went in total obedience, they saw the fruit of the Word of God. That God is not a man that he should lie. So the question we need to ask ourselves is where have those days gone to? My friend, it says 72 people, not only the pastor, but 72 people, people who willingly gave their lives in total surrender, laying their lives down. They returned with such great joy that this world had not given them. I tell you, revival had broken out. I ask myself, where have those days gone to? You see, God is not a man that he should lie. We see that even when the Lord Jesus is taken up by the Father, he had left a promise for the disciples saying, I will send you the helper, the Holy Spirit. My friend, when this helper came, you hear in the book of Acts that the people came and brought their sick, laying them on mats, that at least the shadow of Peter might fall on some of them as he passed by. And surely, my friend, those whom his shadow fell on were cured from their diseases and evil spirits left them. My question is, where have those days gone to? Acts chapter 2 verse 39. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off. For all whom the Lord our God will call. My brother, my sister, the promise is for you. We see that even after the times of the apostles of the Bible, God has been looking for vessels who will be carriers of this revival, raising men like Charles Finney, John Wesley, William Booth, Smith Wigglesworth, John G. Lake, etc. Some of these names are popular because some of them are founders of the Methodist Church and Salvation Army, etc. But these men were not just 
content with Sunday meetings. They were hungry for a move of God. They were hungry for God and God filled them with the fire. Even as some of them started to leave, we see a certain religious spirit and a dryness entering into some of these places. You see, religion cannot save us. No denomination can save us. I believe somewhere we have failed God. My friend, since the days of God's promise, since the days of his promise, God has always been in the business of raising people. He has not changed. God has not changed. He is the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forevermore. I believe our hearts have gone cold for revival. We have too many men and women who are just comfortable in a routine lifestyle. My brother, my sister, God has more than that for your life. God says, I look for someone among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land so I would not have to destroy it. But I found no one. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, right now, we just humble ourselves before your throne, O Lord. Even as you said in your word, that in the past God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets but in these days Lord you are speaking to us through your son Jesus Christ and this is my prayer for you my brother my sister who is listening my prayer is that God is speaking to your life through his son Jesus Christ and that anointing that lives in you no man has to teach you that for he said I will send you the spirit of truth and he is the one who will lead you into all the truth meaning he will also deliver you from every deception. He will deliver you from destruction. He will lead you into the glory of God. And that anointing that lives on the inside of you, he guides you. Father, we thank you. You are speaking to us in this hour through your son, Jesus. Even as you said, Lord, that your word is a lamp unto my feet and it is a light unto my path. Father, let it be so for your son, let it be so for your daughter. We rejoice in your promises for they are true. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this hour. You are looking for a vessel. You are looking for a man. You are looking for a woman who will carry your fire. And Lord, I pray for your son. I pray for your daughter listening to the sound of this tongue that they may catch your fire, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, Lord, for what you are doing. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.